Pixio has started bundling their own DisplayPort cables. I think they've learned what I've learned working on the Level 1 KVM, that uh, all DisplayPort cable companies are hideously evil. So here it is unpacked, the Hayabusa BX5 from Pixio. It's 24.5 inches diagonally, it's a 240 hertz display. It has two HDMI inputs, one DisplayPort input, and a USB service port, so you do firmware upgrades or whatever. It does have a standard Visa mount, but it comes with a nice tilt swivel stand where, you know, you've got rotation as well as tilt. So you can run it in a sort of a tilt configuration. It is a nice matte finish on the display because you know, you don't necessarily want glare or anything like that. You can kind of see from the studio lights that it's got a nice diffuse uh, finish on it, but it actually looks pretty good, I think. It's plastic and it's got Pixio on the back and it's got the five-way joystick for menu control. But all in all, it's a pretty solid build. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty hefty build. Now you may be thinking, team red or team green? And it's a 1080p monitor, but it's 240 hertz. Pushing 240 hertz really does require a fairly substantial graphics card, and it also depends on the game that you're playing. So I've got a Radeon RX 5700 for $350. There's really not a better deal on a graphics card that will push this kind of resolution and refresh rate, unless maybe you find a deal on a used 1080 Ti. The 2070 Super is probably the other card that I would consider from Team Green, especially if you can find it around MSRP. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't have any money. I want to get a good monitor and an APU. And it's like, oh, you don't need a 240 hertz monitor with an APU. You could get an APU and grow into a GPU later. The FreeSync capability on this monitor will help you if you're running an APU. You may be thinking, what about other AMD technologies like Radeon Anti-Lag? Well, for high refresh rate displays, Anti-Lag doesn't really do anything for you. Anti-Lag is actually a good technology. It will give you a about a one frame latency advantage. The problem is what constitutes one frame is the best at that 60 to 90 hertz sweet spot. So if you're running a game that's 60 to 90 hertz and you've got anti-lag technology plus FreeSync, you can get a response out of your game about one frame quicker. So at 60 hertz, that's about 16 milliseconds, almost 17 milliseconds. At 90 hertz, it's quite a bit less. At 240 hertz, one frame is not a lot of time at all. And that's even if your graphics card can push it. You also run into problems as like, you know, in terms of like your CPU. Uh, does your CPU have the capability to push 240 frames per second? There are some games that would struggle with, like the engine would struggle with 240 FPS. It's, it's impossible with GTA 5, for example. Yeah, it's an ancient game, maybe not the best example, but it literally will not run. And this is a $300 monitor. It's a $300 1080p monitor. So you, there's a lot of ifs, ands, and ums, and uh, I don't know if you're gonna get a 240 hertz 1080p monitor. That said, it's a 240 hertz 1080p monitor. You know, if you're a pro gamer and doing that kind of thing, it's got the chops, it's got the specs. If we check the high speed footage, the response time on this panel is very good. If we get out the uh, the spider color calibrator, no, it's, not, it's not great. That's pretty much universally true. You can have an insanely fast monitor or a color accurate monitor, but generally not both. And this monitor has put all of its points into speed. And it is a very, very fast monitor. It's 24.5 inches, 1080p. Me personally, for the money, my preference would be to get one of the Pixio 1440p monitors. We use that with our Ryzen versus Intel testing. We use those monitors in like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and with our Radeon anti-lag testing and all that, that sort of stuff. 1440p gaming on those 27 inch monitors with the thin bezels. Pixio really knows what they're doing in terms of engineering and affordable, but um, good monitor. And the 1080p, high speed monitor doesn't really quite tick all the boxes for me, but it is a 240 hertz monitor. Now, one thing that I ran into was the HDMI inputs uh, add about 10 milliseconds of input latency. So using the Leo Bodnar input latency checker, um, there's about a 10, 10 milliseconds of extra latency. I reached out to Pixio and they said, oh yeah, that's just the, the HDMI scaler. If you're running it at 1080p on the DisplayPort input, then it's pretty much mapped directly to the panel. I don't have an easy way to test that. All I can do is the high speed footage 
and I can't guesstimate what the input latency of the DisplayPort input might be. Pixio's 1440p monitors on the HDMI and the DisplayPort inputs though do have a lower input latency, a measured lower input latency, certainly on the HDMI and I think also on the DisplayPort. So, but the panel, the LCD panel itself is not as fast on those monitors. So slightly lower input latency, slightly slower panel, faster panel, slightly more input latency. It's a tough world. I think if it were me, my pick would be one of the 1440p monitors from Pixio, but if you need an insanely fast display, it's worth your time to look at and consider Pixio. I think that, uh, I think that it would not be my pick personally. If you have a chance, as a gamer, if you haven't ever tried a 240Hz display, you should definitely try a 240Hz display. Even just using it for productivity, like, you know, doing stuff with the computer, not necessarily gaming, uh, it feels very fast and very, very responsive. I can't tell the difference between 144Hz and 240Hz, but I know people that say they can. So, it's a 240Hz monitor. It does what it says, it's 1080p. The price is decent for the features that it has. It's got a pretty solid stand and a height adjustable stand. There's some value add features there. The machine that I used in testing it, this was a Ryzen 5 3600X uh, with all the accoutrement. It was actually a relatively low cost build. If you want to get a similar machine to the one that I used for testing, uh, check out the other video in the link description or maybe we can do associated videos in the corner. I forget how to do that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, I'm signing out, and I'll see you later.